Thank you, Honorable Speaker. CS nominee, uh, let me begin by asking from your academic credentials that uh, clearly looking at them uh, bottom up. And having said how you began your journey for uh, getting your degrees all the way to Harvard, uh, Kennedy, it's Kennedy, what? Kennedy School of Government. School of Government. What would you tell young Kenyans who may have started off life like you in terms of being able to pursue academic credentials later in life? That would be one. Two, you come from a region where the blue economy, as you say, holds a very huge potential to create employment. And I'm sure probably from your research you may have known that there have been efforts by the government uh, since 2015, 2016, to try and get Kenyans to work in the Caribbean, but have had problems uh, accessing visas to travel through the US. What will you do as cabinet secretary to ensure one that we are able to train as many young people to work in the maritime industry because there's very a very huge potential as you say uh, to create jobs in that industry what will you do to help kenyans one train to access jobs uh, even outside the country uh, the other question would relate to the mining docket there is a lot of unregulated and unlicensed and uh, what would uh, be tantamount to illegal mining around the country what will you do as cs to ensure one that uh, any player who is uh, in the mining industry in Kenya is licensed and regulated. And that uh, also involves things like quarries. You've seen the recent cases uh, in Nairobi, in a uh, quarry here in Ambakasi, where abandoned quarries are left and filled. They have now become uh, graveyards for criminals. They are dump sites. What will you do to make sure that uh, anybody who is involved even in quarrying is uh, one taking care of the environment, uh, especially in getting to refill many of these quarries, and that that industry is well regulated and, anybody, and everybody engaged in it is licensed? Nominee, 